Hello everyone. <clears throat> In this uh, video, we'll talk about multiple correlation. Uh, in real life situation, one single variable may be influenced by many other variables. So, for example, uh, sales of a particular product may depend on the price, the income of the consumers, quality of the product, service, uh, sales promotion techniques, channels of distribution, like that. There are so many variables which may have an influence on the sale of the product. So, in this case, we must consider the joint influence of several independent variables on one dependent variable. So that gives a rise to your multiple correlation, right, in this context. Suppose uh, capital Y is a dependent variable, uh, which is influenced by, let us say, n variables, x1, x2, and so on up to xn. Then the multiple correlation is a measure of the relationship between this dependent variable, which is Y, with the independent variables which are x1, x2 and so on up to xn considered together all these variables. So generally multiple correlation coefficients are denoted by the letter capital R. For example, if I say R1.23, it means that here one, the one indicates x1 variable, two and three indicates x2 and x3 variables. So here x1 becomes the dependent variable, dependent on the independent variables x2 and x3. So that is what is uh, meant by R1.2.3, sorry, R1.23. Then similarly, if I have R2.13, it means that 2 is the dependent variable. Uh, that means X2 is the dependent variable. X1 and X3 are independent variables, which has got a impact on your X2. Uh, it gives some impact on the variable X2. Same way, 3.12 means uh, X3 is the dependent variable, which are dependent upon the independent variables X1 and X2. It need not be only three variables, it can be more than three also. For example, here R1.234 means X1 is a dependent variable and it depends on three different independent variables, which are X2, uh, X3 and X4. So now, how do we, what is the formula for all this? The coefficient of multiple linear correlation is given by R1.23 is equal to both numerator and denominator will have a square root in it, which clearly indicates that uh, this capital R cannot take any negative values. So automatically what happens is compared to your correlation coefficient, call Pearson's or rank or uh, concurrent deviation in all this, you will have the range as minus one to plus one, whereas here the range will be zero to one only because of this square root. Okay, what will be the formula? There is a pattern you may notice, R12 here, this one and two, the square, then one and three, the square, minus all the three, means all the possibilities. Two times R12, R13, R23, the whole thing divided by one minus of uh, these two after the dot, R23, the square. Same way, uh, 2.13 is R21, the square, then R23, the square, minus of 2 times 21, 23, and 13. So it comes, all those combinations will come. 21, 23. I think I made a mistake here. Let me correct it. This should be. Sorry. It should be one three. Yeah. Sorry. And then denominator will be this one and three. Same way, if I go to three dot one two, it becomes uh, R three one the square plus R32 the square. Right, so uh, similarly, if you see R3.12, we have uh, the combination P1 and 32. So R31 the square, R32 the square minus of R31, 32, and 12. So all those three combinations 
divided by 1 minus of uh, r this last after the dot 1 to the square. So the properties of this multiple linear correlations are it should lie between 0 and 1 and then uh, r 1 dot 2 3 will be the same as r 1 dot 3 2 r 2 dot 1 3 will be the same as r 2 dot 3 1 r 3 dot 1 2 will be the same as r 3 dot 2 1 etc and then r 1 dot 2 3 will be definitely larger than or equal to r 1 2 or r 1 dot 3 2 will be larger than or equal to r 1 3 etc so these are the properties of multiple correlation right so we will see in our next video some problems involving multiple linear correlation till that time see you all take care thank you